Okay, some of you may be wondering what a determinant actually is. Well, a determinant is simply just an area or a volume of a region, which is a very useful application. So, for example, if we have a problem like this where it says, find the area of parallelogram given these vertices, we can find the area of the parallelogram simply by taking the determinant. But before we can determine a matrix, but before we can do that, we have to center this, the vertex of this at the origin. And if you look at the first vertice, it's not at the origin. It's centered at negative 1, 0. So what we have to do in order to, to translate it to the origin is we have to subtract each one of these vertices by negative 1, 0. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have negative 1 minus negative 1 and 0 minus 1. This gives us... 0, 0, the origin. So now we have to do the same thing here. We say 0 minus negative 1 and 5 minus 0. When we do this, we get 1, 5. Then we say 1 minus negative 1 and negative 4 minus 0. When we do this, we get 2, negative 4. Finally, our last vertice is 2, 1, so we say 2 minus negative 1 and 1 minus 0. Finally, when we do this, we get 3, 1. So, our determinant is going to be determined by these two points, our area, that is. So we put these two into a matrix, so we say 1, 5, and 2, negative 4. This is a 2 by 2 matrix, so likely the determinant is just AD minus BC. So the determinant of this is simply 1 times negative 4 minus BC, which is 2 times 5. So this is negative 4 minus 10, or negative 14. And some of you may be wondering, how can the area be negative. Well, in order to use the determinant to find the area of the um, area or volume of region, it's always the absolute value determinant. So the absolute value of this gives us 14. So this is the area of the parallel term. Thank you for watching, guys. See you guys next time.